I have to know who the funniest guy on the team is because we've had a lot of different answers on that. Who's the funniest Cleveland Guardian? Mm. Jose picks and chooses his spots. <laughs> um, you kind of never know what you're going to get with him uh, until he gets out on the field. So I like from afar. I used to be the guy in 2018, 2019 that he would purposely make uncomfortable. I like watching it from afar now, so I enjoy that. Why, you use like young guy hazing? Not, I wouldn't say hazing per se, but uh, you know, you he's, the uh, it's Jose Ramirez, and, uh, and, and he'll get loud with you. Um, I think sometimes just to mess around with you, see yeah. if you get uncomfortable, yeah. Tito's not bad either. Tito's, Tito's great, Tito's wicked up there. Sense of humor. I mean, I, I think that's a, great, that's a great pick as well. He's probably the favorite, speaking of odds. <laughs> it's always good when your manager can mix it up too mm -hmm. because obviously he's doing his job probably at the top of his craft yeah but I think humor in the dugout and the clubhouse can go a long way and it's it's clear this team enjoys being with one another and mm -hmm. I think the humor plays a pretty big, big role in that doesn't it yeah I'd laughs. say so I think like I said like he starts from day one um, getting the team together ultimately the clubhouse has to take it um, you know, take that responsibility on and take it further in terms of team chemistry. But uh, he always brings good, consistent, positive energy while, you know, holding guys accountable. I think he, he's, that's why he has been so good for so long. He creates a great culture. Yeah. Dream golf foursome. You can pick anybody, dead or alive. Who, who are you golfing with? Tiger, Jordan. Uh, I'll let them pick the, the fourth. They can have the other one. Yeah. I don't know. Well, I'd like to pair up with Tiger. I figure there's going to be some money on it, so I'll let I'll let Michael uh, pick his partner. I'm sure he's got a, play, uh, a favorite. That would be a fun group. That would be a fun group. Tiger, Jordan, Daly. Yeah, that'd be, you that'd be crazy, Daly, right? Just, just for the long drives and for the, I mean. That'd be crazy. He would be the lead party and guy. And the stories from all three of them. Yeah. I think that would be great. That would be a good foursome. Uh, favorite, if, if you could print a ticket to any sporting event that's ever happened and go back in time and watch it, what game are you going to? Oh. Any sport. Oh, man. Help me out here. You got any? Um, well, are you? what's your favorite? I mean, outside of baseball. Like, I to would watch. go uh, some type of Liverpool game. Oh, wow. Yeah. So I can't help you Liverpool, that, AC Milan, Champions League. It was like 2000. What was it? 2000. You're a big soccer guy, then. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Um, maybe... I'm out of I my think breath. honestly, I might do. It was a few years ago. I'll go Liverpool. This is what I'll do Liverpool, FC Barcelona in the Champions League uh, semifinals. They were down 3 3 0 on aggregate. And then they, the second leg, they won 4 0 um, to advance to the championship. And then they ended up winning it. And that's that quite was, a hole to dig out in Liverpool. Them. Yeah, that's so, nuts. Yeah, that's that was nuts. that was probably crazy. Do you have a team? That is your team Liverpool? Liverpool yeah. figure makes yeah. sense. Uh, the same thing with music. Uh, you can you can go to any music show mm. ever, whether it's Michael Jackson or the Stones or the Beatles or. I seen the Stones first anyway. concert. Did you really? First concert. Um, wow. It's a pretty good way to start. Yeah, it was on like an anniversary tour. I was in high school. Yeah. So it was like my first real concert. I've been to like concerts in the park and stuff, yeah. but one of the couple of buddies uh, when they're in Anaheim, they were, they killed it. Um, I do like a, I would love a big Bob Marley show. No, oh, nice. Just to be able to say, yeah, you went, yeah, yeah, very good. Favorite movie? Wedding Crashers. Oh, that's a great choice. It's a good one. Who plays you in the movie? In my own movie. In your movie. I'm gonna go with Ryan Reynolds. That's a pretty good call. Big Ryan Reynolds guy. Yeah, no, that's a pretty good call. Yeah, actually, I'll too. take it. I'll I take think it. he could pull it off. I've been, t I've been, you know, I've been told in certain lights. There is absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> now that you mention it, I was wondering where you were gonna go with that. Oh yeah. Yeah, but now that you say it, I'll yeah, take it. Absolutely. Um, you guys have great hair as a team. A lot of <laughs> good hair so? guys. Yeah. Okay. I mean, Karen checks let the flow go now. He looks great. And Eli has it. Of course. And I even like what Tris has done with the little Tristan top on, you know, uh, where would you rank the Guardians hair game in Major League Baseball? Well, shoot, seems like you've done the homework a little more, but. I mean, 
We'll go top three. I'll, I'll have a little buffer in there. Top three. Yeah. Very good. Yours, yours nice. You got the little flow coming out the back. A little bit of Latuga. Latuga. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Um, what's your favorite subject in school? Favorite subject? Um, math or history? I'll Least history. favorite. <laughs> uh, English. Science. We're going to do science. Okay. Favorite day off? Like, like you, we've you ever do, had? You, you can do anything on your day off. What's the perfect oh. day off for you? You going golfing, fishing, movies, downtime, chill? What do you Probably do? Probably wake up, spend some time with the wife, maybe a little couple's massage, lay out by the pool, and then mm -hmm. finish with a, a little bit of golf. Very nice. Yeah. Relaxing. Yeah. All right, gotta, gotta, gotta rejuvenate. Last one. What's the best piece of advice you've ever been given and who gave it to you? Hmm. Oh, that's good. Uh, I don't know. I don't know who gave it to me or who instilled it in me, but honestly, just to, just to enjoy it. Um, this, life, this opportunity can be fleeting, it can go by quick, so uh, I don't, I try and live by not taking anything for granted and uh, enjoying each and every opportunity, um, realizing that we're here to experience, um, ultimately, yeah. whatever situation you're in, good or bad, um, you'll make it through it. Yeah, I lied, two more. Best thing about being a Major League Baseball player? Best thing, I think the relationships you build. I think, um, yeah, we're playing a backfield game and Juan Soto, uh, Adam Engel, a couple other guys. This was yesterday. Um, I had the pleasure of, I played against Adam quite a bit, but met Juan at the Waste Management um, <laughs> Open this year. So we're hanging out, great guy. Um, and so just chopping it up with him again yesterday, yeah. like, we, like we've been buddies for a long time. Just, and that goes past that. It goes to the guys in the clubhouse, mm -hmm. coaches, trainers, weight room. Uh, specifically, I think that's, what one of the, that's one of the things that makes Cleveland so great mm -hmm. um, is the people and the staff and the consistent energy that they bring every day. It, it goes a long way. Yeah. Worst thing about being a big leaguer? Mm, I don't know. I don't really want to complain. You know, like I just said, don't take it for granted. But uh, it's a dream life. It, it it is. It is. It can be a little grueling. The travel, um, and the this the season is a lot of games in a mm -hmm. short amount of time. So I guess I'll just go with that overall. But ultimately, not much to complain about. If you weren't a big leaguer, what would you be doing? No clue. This was this was this was one A. This was plan A, was, B, C. Yeah, this D. was one A. Had to work. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. No safety net. Yeah, why not? Go out and get it. Yeah. What do you want to do when you're done? Mm. Drive the kids to soccer practice and go to a lot of Liverpool games. It's a good life, man. Baseball practice too, yeah, of course. Thanks, Shane. Alright, of course. Appreciate it.